I'm just alone and I'm scared, okay? Um, but hey, I'm just throwing myself into this thing. Here we go. Hey internet, did you miss me? Didn't think so. A second ago, I was sitting at my computer here, screaming because I am doing something really random, really spontaneous. I'm going to Canada. <laughs> If you know me, you know that I'm a very rational, logic person. I don't do spontaneous. But uh, I have just been kind of in a really weird mindset lately. So this morning I went to Starbucks and I was journaling, goal setting, that kind of stuff. And I was like, you know what, I need to get away. I need to just take a day or something and just go away by myself and um, just kind of go on like a little personal retreat, you know? And so I came home and I was like looking up on the interweb on my laptop here, things I could do. And I was like, I don't want to go too far away, nothing too crazy, you know? I want to go somewhere new, somewhere I've never been before, see a really beautiful scenic site, and I want to do also something fun while I'm there. So, and I don't want to spend a lot of money either, I don't have like the budget. <laughs> so I was like, what can I do? Where can I go? But then I saw that Canada is a six and a half hour drive from where I live, so... <laughs> I've never been to Canada before. I feel like it's so close yet, so far. <laughs> um, today is Friday, because I work tomorrow night, and I have church on Sunday. So I'm going to go after church on Sunday, drive up, and then stay until Monday, Monday night, because um, I have to work but I'm going to take you guys with me. Uh, hopefully I'm not too distracted with vlogging. But my goal for this whole trip is just to go um, and be alone and just get back to a right mindset. I've just been kind of not myself lately. Sometimes you have to get away from everything to feel better. You know, you can't heal in the place that made you sick. You know what I mean? So um, and please don't worry about me. Like, I'm okay. I just like... I just need to get away, you know? And sometimes you just gotta do that. So, I'm going to Canada. <laughs> um, so I booked this Airbnb for Sunday night. And yeah, listen, I'm terrified. Uh, that This is the biggest thing that's scary to me. Like, because like, I know how this works. I've seen all the horror movies. You show up, it's an innocent vacation. Everything seems fine at first. And then all of a sudden your friends start getting murdered around you by the person who runs the Airbnb because they're a psychopathic murderer. And then you have to somehow make it out alive. And then you're afraid of traveling ever again. <laughs> so um, I'm just kind of like scared about the Airbnb, but I'm looking at the reviews and they're all like, this is a beautiful place. Loved it, so great. So I'm excited and nervous and I don't know how to feel. Whoa, <laughs> this is happening, this is happening. Hi vlog, I'm kind of planning out the trip a little bit um, because I am an INFJ. The J part of that is that I'm very, like I love detailed plans. I've been just so anxious about this trip and I think it's because I don't have a plan. <laughs> um, I don't have any clue like what I'm gonna do when I get there. I just don't know, I'm, so I'm gonna attempt to make some kind of like itinerary. I've got my laptop here. You know sometimes when you do something new and you don't know where to start and so you turn to the internet and there's just kind of like too much information you know I'm kind of like at an overload right now and so I uh, I'm stressed I'm like stressing myself out for no reason um, and this isn't supposed to be a stressful thing we're just gonna wing it I guess uh, maybe I should just keep it kind of loose and and then just kind of like live in the moment when I'm there maybe that's what I need to do I keep looking at myself in the viewfinder instead of the actual like lens because I haven't done this in forever. <laughs> I've forgotten <laughs> how to be a YouTuber. And it's funny, I'm not like telling anyone that I'm doing this. I told like two of my friends um, that convinced me to do it. Um, and then I told my roommate, I was like, hey, I'm going to Canada. And he was like, okay. <laughs> like he didn't care at all. And I was like, what do you mean, okay? I wanted him to be excited for me, but he was just like, all right, cool. <laughs> like, no, I'm not really telling many people I'm going. I probably should though, just in case I get murdered, you know? That way people know like, hey, Nick's going to Canada. So if something happens to him and he's not back by like Wednesday, we should start looking for him. <laughs> Saturday night and I am packing. 
Um, it's about midnight right now, I think. Yes. I actually did end up making like a whole itinerary for myself in my bullet journal. I hate myself. I'm like this. I feel like I'm overdoing this. I really feel like I'm overpacking. I should have just packed like one change of clothes and a backpack and just took off. Um, but I'm a J, so I have to overdo it. I'm so scared. Like I've just been so nervous like all day. I feel like I'm making too big of a deal out of it. I just, I wish I had the personality that was just like, okay, cool, let's just get in my car and, and drive wherever. Um, but I'm not like that. I don't do things like this. This is not me. So it's just a weird feeling. And anytime you feel a new feeling, it's really, really weird and scary. Um, and you don't know what to do with it. <laughs> so um, I'm just really glad that I have a camera and YouTube that I can just kind of like throw all my feelings at. And if you're still watching this and you're still following with me, thank you. Um, I've got to wake up early tomorrow, so I'm gonna just kind of close things up here and um, I will see you guys in the morning. So. Alright, let's do this. I'm five hours in. Um, like an hour into the drive though, I stopped at a Sheets, because I love Sheets. And I was actually starving from church because I didn't really eat much breakfast and I was at church all day. And then uh, about an hour ago, I think, I stopped at a gas station um, in Bath, New York. I was supposed to get there around like 8.05-ish. Um, so we're making really good time. I was thinking I would get there later, like towards, closer towards like 9 p.m. So I'm really glad I'm gonna get there earlier rather than later. And it's been a really interesting drive. It's been very, very boring, honestly. It's just been very like, I don't know, I crossed over into New York and I was like, whoa, I'm in New York. And I feel like the thing about New York is that I know the names of all of these like towns and cities, but like there's nothing there. <laughs> I'm like, why is this such a famous town, but there's nothing here. Hi, this is Nick. I'm on a bridge. I'm almost in Canada and I'm really confused. Traffic is really backed up right here on the side going into New York. Um, and there's this thing that says open. I've never done this before. International boundary, oh my gosh, we're doing this. I'm terrified. <laughs> oh man, I can't believe I'm doing that. That's Canada right there. There she is. I'm in line to go to Canada, having a great time. Hi, iPhone Nick coming at you live because my camera, all my SD cards are out of memory somehow. Um, I have like my passport ready, <laughs> but like, I don't know what they're going to ask me. I don't know. I feel like I skipped this step. I feel like there was a place I was supposed to stop like back there, but I didn't stop. I just kind of went through because I was confusion. This is my anxiety. Welcome to traveling abroad. <laughs> abroad. I'm just crossing the Canadian border. I'm just alone and I'm scared. Okay. Um, but hey, I'm just throwing myself into this thing. Here we go. So we are here. Um, we made it. <laughs> this is where I'm staying tonight. My favorite thing about this room is this gigantic picture of elephants above the bed. <laughs> so I'm um, pretty sure there's another human staying here. Um, I'm hearing footsteps and um, so I'm like afraid to like make any noise because I don't want to bother them. <laughs> it's almost nine now and so uh, I think I'm just gonna, I'm really tired from driving today and just the whirlwind of emotions <laughs> of everything. So um, I'm just gonna take it slow, um, 
relax for the night, and then I'll do all my adventuring tomorrow. The majority of my drive was through like upstate New York, so it was like country, 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 city. <laughs> so like from nothing to like everything all at once. And all of a sudden, I'm in line to cross the border into Canada, and like I was not ready. The the patrol guy, it probably does this to everybody, but he was asking me like a lot of questions. <laughs> he was just like, who are you staying with? And I was like, myself. And he was like, are you meeting anyone? And I was like, no. <laughs> he was like, why are you here? <laughs> and I was like, am I doing um, a weird thing? Yes. Do I need your judgment? No. <laughs> the first thing I did whenever I got here was I went to Walmart. <laughs> of course. I forgot to pick up like travel size toiletry items when I saw there was a Walmart at this exit and so I was like skirt. Let's talk about culture shock. Um, Canada isn't that much different from the US but the first culture shock thing I had was when I crossed over uh, the speed limit said maximum 100 and I was like whoa I can go 100 miles per hour. I am speed. And I was like wait Nick that's probably kilometers per hour because this isn't America. <laughs> So we're in Canada. I'm really excited, so I'm gonna I'm gonna get some sleep. So um good night. Mm-hmm. Yep, watch this. What this? Ooh, intimate. Oh my god. Good morning. It is Monday, 10:30 in the morning. Um, I checked out of the Airbnb, so I went to a coffee shop downtown, had some coffee and a little breakfast sandwich, and it had bacon on it, Canadian bacon, getting the full experience here. I just drove right by the falls, and I was like, whoa, they're like right there, that's them. Look at all those chickens, I mean buildings. Every time I go somewhere and I see like big buildings, I get like really, really excited. I'm gonna put you guys down and I'm gonna go uh, enjoy the falls. Try not to look too much like a tourist with my camera and my backpack. But yeah, dude, I'm so excited. Uh, this is so cool. I, I, I love this. I'm so glad that I decided to do this and travel alone. I'm so excited. So yeah, I'm gonna go and park now, so bye. rapidly falling body of water. It's very beautiful. I went to the gift shop, bought a mug, and then I went to Tim Hortons, got some coffee, because that's like the Canadian thing to do of me, right? Eh? Yikes. There she is. She's over there. Niagara herself. This is fun. I love this. I'm a traveler. That was Niagara Falls. I drove seven hours <laughs> to look at a large body of water falling very rapidly. Um, and do I have any regrets? Absolutely not. I just uh, took a moment just to sit and thank the Lord for making such a beautiful earth and for allowing me to come and look at it. It was funny whenever like the wind would blow, just water would like rush in and everyone would like run into the uh, the gift shop <laughs> so they would stay dry and I was just like I don't even care like my camera's gonna get wet yeah I'm gonna get wet yeah but that's this is what I came here for so I texted my roommate who's from Buffalo New York I asked him what the best place to get wings was in Buffalo because um, I wanted to get Buffalo chicken wings in Buffalo I'm gonna go there I, I had a great time I'm so glad I came I feel so refreshed I feel so um, brand new I just feel like um, I can go back home now. I have to listen to Shania Twain because she's from Canada and I love her. Okay, this is copyright music. I'm gonna I'm gonna stop now. I'm so excited. So I'm gonna go look at some more rapidly falling bodies of water from the America side now. Um, so excited, having the time of my life out here. <laughs> ah. ah, 
guys, I'm home. I made it. Everyone's like, why? Why did you do it? Um, and I'm like, because I wanted to. I learned that it's okay to be by yourself. Like, it's okay. It's okay to do something because you want to every once in a while. It's okay to do something crazy and outside of your comfort zone every once in a while. Because it, it grows you, you know? And I hope that uh, me showing you me doing this helped you learn that too, you know? So, stop asking me why I did it. I had a good time. I smell really bad. I'm gonna take a shower and get some rest. So, thanks so much for coming along with me on this journey. I love you. You're beautiful. You're awesome. You're perfect. Wow, I haven't said that in a long time.